Okay, to start off this video, I'm just going to announce that these two types of float valves here, the Portsmouth and the Croydon, have been discontinued from my systems until further notice. As I've had a few fail on me since selling systems with brass seats on them, they can't be serviced. J Taylor system, uh, Andover system and an Abian parcel with a brass with an old brass seat in a standard part one but and also the XL Burlington in my bathroom. So to find answers I have reseated all these valves. I've got one set up and I've got a low pressure one set up in the Cambridge Coronia system in my bathroom. And I'm going to give it a year until I can determine whether or not reseating will prolong the lives of these float valves again. But, of course, if there are any special requests, I will, of course, allow the Portsmouth valves to go if it's for, like, really authentic Victorian WC project. But obviously, let them know the warnings first. So, yeah, okay, so... This is the first system that I'm retesting, the Burlington 264. In here it's now got standard old type chassis WR part 1 float valve. The arm was already bent by a previous plumber. So it's all been reconditioned and that will be the float valve of this system here. Let's give it a go. Few millimeters in the water line. Those are not going off in the chickens, that's the main thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to wait until this fully shuts off. This mark here, can that be removed by water? Not quite, but not really noticeable. Uh, 
That is a pass. 